basically causing a queue because I'm touching everything. Good morning, hello car friends. Today is Wednesday and I'm actually kind of suitcase. See it? The pink luggage tag. I'm going off to uh, Bentley. I'm going to Jack Barkley Bentley. Blah, blah. Jack Barkley Bentley to see the new Continental GT, which I'm really excited about. I don't really know much about the Continental or about Bentley, if I'm honest. I think one of my New Year's resolutions is going to be to learn more about Bentley. I think it's in May 1st somewhere. You can tell it's all a bit sketchy, and actually, I'm really concentrating on getting my flight later. But uh, either way, I will see you there. So I've arrived and look what I've found. Hello, hello. Car obsession, amazing. Describe what you can see in front of us. A very exquisite Bentley Continental GT. It's like the bluest thing as well. It's like it's like the sea. It's really nice. How would you describe that blue? It's kind of like a marine blue. I think the official colour they said was sequin blue. Oh really? Um, blue. I think that's what it said. Don't quote me on that. It is a really nice colour. It's really deep. It's it looks really like rich. some sort of precious gemstone, doesn't it? It does. It does. And they've got a red model as well, kind of like a, a burgundy colour, which I prefer actually. Uh, it's got a black and red interior, and I do like a bit of black and red um, but both cars but you got the size to match <laughs> it came on brand but both cars are exquisite <laughs> it's incredible really, really let's nice. give you guys a turn so you can see what's going on so look at this this is apparently it's got a, a w12 engine which i don't know i mean i'm no engineer as you will well know but apparently it's basically like two v6 v6s next to each other and they are sort of around here so they're sort of a bit further back to help with the weight distribution and what that means is they can isolate just like one v6 so that it's a bit more efficient and then use the other one when it needs when you're properly tanking it or when you've got somewhere to go and there's the 12 let's see the 12 from the uh, w12 look at the calipers on that look at that it's incredible the size of those discs look incredible let's take you around to the back now a lot of the tech of this car is inside so we are going to jump inside in the moment do you want to stroke it there, I touched it. Like the little details, like if you just see it in here on those lights, I don't think you can properly see it, but there's like little sort of, it's like a feathering effect that goes across the light. So if you imagine that at night when that's shining, it's going to look incredible. And then you've got this sort of oval in here, which is almost like a beehive kind of um, look. So it's just those little kind of details which really set it apart. The lines on it are incredible. Look, I can't wait to get inside. Quilting, look. It's like staying in the nicest hotel you've ever been in. Jump in the car with Aaron. Probably going to be crashing Aaron's video as well. Hello, Aaron. Look who's back. Aaron's back. I was just saying how nice his indicators are. Look Until at, I got look. in. Oh my word. Those are Check this out. It's like beveled. Is that the word? Beveled? Yeah. Where they've yeah. got this like, little effect on there. Look. It's incredible. Flappy pedal gearbox, and Aaron knows more about this gearbox because it's an eight, it's an eight speed double clutch. Yes, dual clutch, eight speed auto. First time it's been mated to this engine. Mated? Mm. That's a word I've not heard in all sorts <laughs> before. This is the thing that I'm most impressed with. Yes. So this basically is called a rotating display. Oh, there's, there's a larger word than that. But what I love about it, I read, is this little bar here has been designed so you can, it's a satin bar and it's been designed so you can rest your hand on it. So whilst you're selecting options. I, How I did, much thinking is that? I did not know that. Yeah, it's great fact. Now, what I really want it to do, and I don't know whether I can do it at the push of a button, it's got a little party trick. Screen. Oh yes, that might be it. That, that yes, look at that. And so that's all flush now against the dash, this sort of mahogany effect. It's almost like it's not there. And then all you have to do is press this screen button again. Da -da -da -da. Da -da. How impressive wow. is that? 12.3 inches. What about the screen? <laughs> hey! Oh, we're not in focus. This is going to be a great shot when it's in focus. Yes. Oh, it's going to be the best shot you've ever seen. There it is. Aaron's just mentioned a great fact. Yes, so each Continental GT has 10 square metres of wood. And have a guess at how long it takes to 
not only create these inlays but also fit them into the car. So I imagine on a normal car, a normal car being a budget car, I imagine that would be something that you do in like six minutes. I imagine it'd be quite, pretty quick. So for Bentley, half a day? That's quite it's, a long time in car terms. It's really nine long. hours. It's nine hours. Nine so hours. It's not a bad guess. I don't know if it includes chopping the tree down. I don't know. Everything about this car it's just really, oozes really quality. Nice. Yeah. It feels nice. It's really tactile. Everything you just want to kind of touch. And I know it's a really weird thing to say. Even down to like the little quilting that's on here. Like this is really, has got a texture to it. And it's, that's what makes the car worth the money. It's called Diamond in Diamond. It's a, it's a new car. Look at it. He, um, Owen is the most on-brand person you're going to meet today. I think each diamond has got 712 stitches to it. He thinks. He knows. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, no one no. thinks that bad. I don't, I don't want to be quoted. You do, you've been <laughs> quoted. Even the pedal has got the Bentley logo on. Yeah. Every Bentley logo in here so far has been able to be touched. you got that one. This one you can click down. The ceiling. I'm basically causing a queue because I'm touching everything, so I probably need to get out before I either A, get arrested, or B, ruin my reputation with, the, with the automotive it, uh, industry. <laughs> We're getting out. Sorry I've been so late, sorry. You can go back in there, you can play. But honestly, it is attention to detail, I'm not just making that up. It is the little details that actually make this car, and obviously you're going to say that about a Bentley, but it is the tactile things, it's the sort of textural things, the things that you can touch, the things that um, that you take for granted in any other, other sort of car, they're the things that really make the difference in this car. And I do love the colour. Like, if you see that coming down the street, it looks like no other sort of car I've ever seen from a colour perspective. So I think I've done enough talking. So what I'm going to do is leave you with loads of arty shots of the car because that's the only real way that you can see the amount of detail I'm talking about. Thank you so much to Jack Barkley, HR Owen guys, for inviting me down, getting to see the Bentley G uh, Continental GT. Like I said, it's a, like a, it's a New Year's resolution for me to understand more about Bentley because I know there's loads more going on there than I can really add justice to. Thank you guys again. Subscribe if you haven't done already. Keep watching if you want to see some more arty shots and I will see you very soon. Hello.